Okay, this video is going to be about PHP and Bootstrap Studio. Um, I know I've done a few videos about them, so usually with uh, to do with forms and stuff. But this one here is from somebody called Jan Khan. It says, I want to learn complete dynamic website with PHP using Bootstrap Studio. So please upload fast. Sounds like uh, a few of the clients I've had. But anyway, right. <laughs> Thought I'd tackle this because not so much about that because it's quite rude, but um, it's it's a question that other people might be asking. Okay, right. This is what you'd have to do if you use Bootstrap Studio with PHP. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste this bit here. Okay, right. So just um, copy and put this in. We'll just use a div. So this is just a blank canvas. We'll just go div. Okay yes come on div okay right put that one in there and we're just going to go um convert to html okay custom code and i've done this a million times if you've watched the videos all right so um just do that and paste it okay so then we have the php there the question mark php echo hello there echo for other for people who haven't followed the channel echo and php is just like a, a print out it, it outputs what you want to say and print does exactly the same thing so there's two ways to do that okay so we're going to apply that right so when you reply there's nothing there and so if we do a preview okay and i think this will come up an edge right again nothing all right so um what you have to do with php for people who don't really know where it is uh, mr khan uh he wants to become a web developer for a career um because he's we've had email communication um but yeah so what you would have to do right is i'll put a video uh, of wamp um good few months ago now so one is this so i've already put it on the local server because i've got it on okay so that's that there the local server right um languages i've i'll put the description on um in the comments thing or in the description part of this video okay so when you want to do that you have to like sort of go and find um this here WAMP 64 okay it's in Windows WAMP 64 and you go to the triple W folder and this is where you, f you find your find your stuff okay right so we've got a few things there a few things I've added um, some that's already there by default and when it's on green this thing here at the bottom it's just like trying to do kill two pairs with one stone with PHP and stuff. Okay, so you've got your your server going when it's on the green, like a green light. If it's amber or red, then it won't work properly. Okay, so what you're really doing is you're finding... Um, just come out of that. Okay, so what you, what you do when you're looking for that, you find or uh, just a minute phone's call all right okay i'm back um so lost track a little bit uh that was just i think it was a just a, a silly call anyway um right going back to this so what we would have to do to actually get it into php is you have to have the file php okay so go to bootstrap studio right nothing is like sort of outputting in a php and you would expect that because you're not going through the servers folder so what we're going to do there right is we're going to just export this and as i've said loads of videos is that when video is in operation that it does slow it down okay so we just go to browse right and we go for i think it's already in the w w w so we just 
output down on there select folder export okay and your design was exported all right so there it is there index but still index html so you you can't from bootstrap studio have php it's it's in the html as default you cannot change that so if if you, if anybody's watching this and thinks they can um you know just let me know but this is a front end tool okay um so what you're going to have to do with that particular um file which is index html you're going to have to go into a code editor um i've got tweak style here okay and this was test.html and i've changed it to test.php so you put in the localhost test.php which is what that is localhost all right <laughs> like i know this might be confusing to people but that's the way you put it into the ww folder and then you have to put the http localhost slash and then your whatever your php is it's not good doing it html i mean you can put that in any folder um html doesn't need a server on the, on the um, offline so right what you have so you're going to have to do the index and you're going to have to go into a code editor now my code editor puts in the address here so it says here at the top hello there is the echo print is the hi what's your name and that is there i mean it needs to tidy note a bit but that that is where it is okay hello there hi what's your name right so what you're going to have to do anybody that wants to do php and dynamically with bootstrap studio every html thing that you're going to do you're going to have to go right into the ww folder then you have to go to a code editor you cannot do it in bootstrap studio you're going to have to change the file name and then you you cannot see what you're doing in bootstrap studio and i've i've told mr khan this and i'm sure there's others out there wondering why you can't do php you can't do php in bootstrap studio i've shown how you do um, contact forms and how you build them up in in um, bootstrap studio but you can't do the php it has to be done in a code editor or notepad or whatever you want to use but you cannot see for example if if you do this here right and you've got a php just this test one any of these php files right you put this in like you would import it now you can see that right you move it to the pages right open the pages up and there's no php so please people just listen um you know i've had a few things like this with php but if you don't listen i can't i can't i can't express myself anymore but at this point in time as i've said to mr khan by email php and bootstrap studio don't marry you up you know okay they just don't marry you up it's a front end tool it's not a back end tool it's not a server side tool if you want to do that you need to use a code editor you know um and as of i use tweak style and, and tweak style is a very very good one um but there's loads of free ones even that will help you with your php and and you know i mean php for me is a little bit like it's i don't think it's a, such a difficult language to to do what, what the problem is is that you have to use a server you have to like sort of do this that and the other sometimes you have problems with certain the server the wamp or there's, there's other ones um but like sort of when you're having the problems with with the server you think oh is it really worth it the server or other, other people might say it, um the server and what's actually online don't always um are not always parallel either you can get things certainly for um i think i've mentioned this before as well about like sort of forms can look terrible offline but look good online so there is a, a, a you know a difference there as well so whatever you do guys if you want to lose bootstrap studio it doesn't do php properly you can 
you can pour it in there, but you, you, you don't know what you're doing. You have no preview of what you're doing unless you go right around China to just find what you're going to do. So there's easier ways, and that's why I would never recommend Bootstrap Studio and PHP together. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you've found this video interesting.